All web spinning spiders put quite a lot of effort into the construction of their webs. But how they get all of their food from the webs might not be as obvious as it first appears. An old web is generally those familiar two-dimensional flat webs with a spiral pattern on it. The resources the spiders put into creating an old web can be divided into two parts. The first part in the time and energy required moving from place to place, connecting all those strands together, which can take the spider over an hour to completely finish the task. It's a considerable amount of time for such a small creature to devote just to the preparations for hunting. And the other significant part is the actual web itself. The silk that the spider creates from its spinnerets is mainly constructed from the amino acids glycine and alanine. The use of the building blocks of proteins means that the silk is consuming a tremendous amount of the potential energy reserves of the spider, and therefore it must recoup that investment in the silk in order to survive. Now the first most obvious way of recouping that investment in constructing the web is by capturing some form of insect in the web. Once the spider has captured an insect, rather than eat it, the spider will actually inject it with digestive fluids and later on drink the kind of insect soup which has been formed. However, rather than waste the energy which is actually contained within the strands of the spider silk, once the web has reached the end of its productive life and can't be effectively repaired or upgraded, the spider will then eat its own web in order to recoup the energy invested in creating the web in the first place. When the spider consumes the web though, it isn't just able to gain nutrients from the original silk. Whilst the web is kind of hanging in the air, its sticky surface will hold on to anything that floats past it. Has anyone has seen how quickly dust will collect on an abandoned spider web in their home will know. And when a web is hanging out in the open countryside, rather just household dust gathering on the surface of the web, be capturing a substantial amount of pollen from its sticky surface along with spores and other possible food sources floating in the air. Helps that the pollen is incredibly high nutrient content that can add substantially to the spider's diet. The amount of nutrition that the spider will be able to add to its diet, pollen and other material does vary with the age or the size of the spider. The younger or smaller spider the more important role the particles of pollen can play in the spider's diet. In some cases, up to a quarter of the spider's nutrition coming just from pollen. Pollen making such a substantial part of the juvenile spider's diet, it's certainly possible that the all web spider should be considered as omnivores rather than just pure carnivores.